Greetings, comrades. I'm the Gaming Canvas back with part three of Metronian Chaos Episode One Vanguard. And uh, before I continue, for some reason, my uh, USB cable for my uh, headset no longer works. Like, it worked fine when I did the previous video, but afterwards it just stopped working. Like, the thing is, well, it works, but the thing is, for some reason, audio will no longer go through the headset. Even though the computer recognizes the headset fine with this plugged in, and it has the latest drivers, for some reason, audio will no longer go through when I use the USB cable. So now I'm using the headphone jack to uh, actually use a headset. But uh, it's not like you'll notice, because uh, maybe there's a rare headset, so the sound from the speakers don't leak to the microphone and make it sound distorted or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a new headset later on, but uh, won't be right now. Yeah. Yesterday I caved. I actually bought Equinox Prime on Warframe. And you know what? I don't regret it. Because <laughs> it's such a cool looking Warframe. Not, not only that, but the abilities take a little bit of getting used to, but they're really powerful once you know how to use them. And yeah, I went in and bought that $140 pack. But you close the Warframe, the weapons, and a few uh, affinity and credit boosters. You know what? I don't regret it. It was worth every penny. That does mean I'm not to... Uh, no. Not buy any more mechs or anything for a while. Maps of Vanguard have quite a few enemies in them. I guess it becomes slaughter mapish, but not quite. I'm just yeah, sun seems to be going through. Okay. Use my uh, the headphone jack for the time being. If I get another headset, uh, I'm gonna go for a different brand this time. And you know what? It might just be a straight up head headphones because uh, I'm already using my blue snowball mic as a microphone, so a gaming headset at this point be kind of pointless. I just use a regular set of headphones at this point. But I at least want one that has like a USB. USB port. right now map nine okay we're, we're getting close to the end again this isn't a very long wad it's only like 13 maps including the credits map let me just uh 
Let me turn off my thing. Okay, yeah. Because I never had to use the, uh, headphone jack before. Because, thing is, uh, some of these gaming headsets, you can use them on PC and consoles, because my G633s that I have here, um, <laughs> you can use it on the PC at the USB port, and you can use it with the, uh, headphone jack, but it's mainly for the consoles, like the Xbox One, PS4, maybe Switch. and straight up turn on infinite ammo here. Just for the sake of brevity. Yeah, I haven't quite decided what a headset I'm gonna buy to replace this G633. It might it might get another it might be another Logitech uh, headset. It'll probably just be a G Pro or something. Pressure goes to be okay, and they're cheaper than these part of the Spectrum headsets. Which, I still think the, uh, RGB's, <laughs> RGB on headsets pointless. That, and, uh, again, I'm using a proper microphone, so I might just go for regular headphones, but I don't know. And also, uh, those little macro buttons. On these uh, Artemis headsets, I never use them, so I like kill them. Oh, he's still alive.
thing back on. the map here we go oh the pile banger forgot about that that's a chainsaw replacement Quite a few monsters here, 491. It's all coming back to me. How many of those guys are up there? now. And I'm not talking much, just, you know, trying to focus here. As I mentioned, uh, do we need a new headset? I, it, this technically still works, just a USB cable. For some reason, audio will no longer go through. You know, 3.5 millimeter, you know, headphone jack, it works fine. So, I'll be using that for now. Why there's no like uh inventory items which really come in handy like a deployable turret or you know stim packs or whatever.
gonna avoid a bunch of these. hard to kill. After all that, we still didn't get a key. I might just have to do this. Okay, I don't know how he keep paying a teleporter. Go back to I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I just missed the key in here. Yep. I was too busy killing stuff to pay attention to where the key was. Just leaves a yellow key. And that's right where it is. Oh, it's over there. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I wanted to avoid doing this, but I'm using God mode.
You know, as good as Fierce Caliber is, I think Death Head would make a much better uh, situational weapon here. They gotta turn on the volume. <laughs> Game volume for this, huh? Asmodeus. Well, not weapons, like a firing mode, I should say. shut off the other weapons. I just show what they look like, but not how they fire. So let's go and do that. So this is a coil carbine, which of course is a rail gun, which does have a scope. Got the grenade bouncer. Which freezes enemies. It's called a bouncer because you can bounce the grenades by doing alt fire. Seen the anti-armor rifle. And the phone's ringing. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, let's find that, uh... Switch. Yeah, remember, if I recall... Yes, the map's fairly large, but it's not... Chillax levels of huge. Yeah, this is that coil carbine. More or less, it is a railgun. We got the Annihilator, which is, <laughs> again, basically just a flamethrower. <coughs> which, with a name like that, you expect something. You expect this to be a name for one of the super weapons. Like a super powerful rocket launcher or something like that, like a big cannon that, you know, acts like an LB 10X or something, but no, it's just a flamethrower. It's not flamethrower, it's, you know, some sort of plasma energy or whatever, but whatever, it's a flamethrower. There you go. Oh, I was like, how's he not dead? seen that. The missile launcher, we've seen that. Semi-auto rifle, we've seen that. And it's goofy, uh, face on it. The, uh, squad support gun. The totally not an AK. The PDA. I guess it stands for Personal Defense Armament. And this little first SMG. Machine carbine, which I guess more or less it's a chain gun. Fires fast as fuck. We got the A supporter. It's basically a semi auto shotgun. Well, I can't go full auto if you use alt fire. Like a Saiga. 
Pan Sweeper, which is the, uh, basically the super shotgun. Now, it's not doing the reload animation because I got infinite ammo on. I guess reasons. Of course, seeing the riot gun, which is the shotgun. See the heavy pistol, service pistol. The pile there. This is basically the, uh, that's basically the, uh, chainsaw. There's at least uh, three weapons per category. I'm pretty sure there's another pistol. I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, he's just service pistol. Cuz Sworn knows another one. So bulls me that I never really used an ADS when playing Necronian Chaos. I'm just used to, so I played classic games so much, I'm used to, you know, not aiming down the sides or using scopes or whatever. Semi-auto rifle, but... Semi-auto rifle. No, I'd rather use the uh, Heavy Vulcan. It's basically that, but uh, full auto. I really hope the sound's going through. Because if not, then I'm really going to have to get a new headset. So I did a recording test earlier, and it works fine, so... I don't know if for some reason, the... When you plug in a USB, audio will not go through anymore. I don't know why, I was working fine before. Oh, I need to get something real quick, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Bye. I'm back. Let's go full auto here. Now, the normal circus says you gotta make sure you got plenty of ammo. But obviously, it's gonna go through your ammo like nothing. Talk about those new consoles that are coming out. The PS5 and Xbox Scarlet or whatever. And I guess a Switch Mini. If that's even a thing. But I'm curious how these uh, consoles are gonna fare. You know, we're not even six years in and already announcing the new consoles. But uh, given how long the PS3 and 360 lasted, you know. I guess it sort of makes sense, but we have like a bunch of different iterations of those consoles as well. I am genuinely curious how the console will be, you know. Even though I'm not gonna buy them, you know, uh. Nothing against consoles, you know. I know consoles have their place, you know. People want, you know, the convenience, you know, they don't want to bother building a PC or anything like that. And I can respect that, you know. You know, if you like playing on a certain platform, that's fine. But, it's just the fanboys that really turn me off for consoles, you know. You know, they're some of the most clouded individuals on the planet. Now, I can understand people just prefer consoles over PC, you know. Again, for the convenience, you know, they don't want to build their own rig or anything like that, you know, like the exclusive games and stuff, you know, those people I can understand, but whatever you're just flat out saying, 
No, consoles rule. PC sucks. Huh? PC please, blah, blah, blah. I want nothing to do with you. And really, the console community suffers as well because it paints them in a bad image. Just like PC is paint PC gamers in a bad image. So it's basically, it's a catch twenty-two. You know, either way, someone's fucked. If I do decide to go back to consoles, and I am going to have a bit of a chip on my shoulder, I'm going to have to struggle to get off. That way I can have a clear conscience whenever I do go back into the console for it, which, at this point in time, who knows, maybe... I don't know, man, part of me does miss the Xbox, you know. All the fun times I had on the 360, and... The Xbox One... Now, the thing with the Xbox One, yeah, we know when it first announced, there was all that, you know, controversy about the DRM, you know, use games policies and internet check-ins. Well, that really turned off a lot of people, and it definitely turned me off, you know. By the time the Xbox One was announced, that was kind of the beginning of the end for consoles for me. And I know they reversed those policies, you know, they... You know, they reverse that DRM thing and the connect requirements and stuff like that, but to me, the damage has already been done. So I stuck with the 360 for as long as I could, but sadly, even that didn't last very long. Oh, yeah. I might as well just finish off this walk, because, yeah, I know it's going to take a long time to, uh,. Process through Vival uh, Da Vinci Resolve, but either way, it's not gonna take that long to upload. It'll take like literally a minute or less. Alright, so for the sake of brevity, both console families and PC elitists, you know. They're basically... They're the toxic people of their respective platforms. You know, it's ridiculous. Like, just get over yourselves. We're all gamers here. Like I said, if you can't respect, you know, what other people play their games on, then I want nothing to do with you. Yeah, it's going like this. Just ignore these guys, otherwise this video's gonna be like an hour long if I just focus on killing everything. I'll kill some things, but not, not everything. That and I really want to show off the ending. <laughs> the crest thing for this uh wad, it's hilarious. Definitely one of my favorite things about this wad. I just got a short and sweet, or at least the first half anyway. But the ending screen is so funny. And you know what? How about this? There we go. Now I really don't have to worry about trying to kill everything. What is that? Oh yeah, I forgot how short this map kind of is. Though... Weird. Yeah, here it is, here it is. Thanks for playing Vanguard. See Vanguard text for extended credits. A 
Okay, sounds definitely going through, you know. I can see the audio bar going. The good old punch out theme. So it's not so much a credit screen, more like a, a bonus level. What's the actual credit? Just see the text file. What did that say? Oh, Galleon Priest Serum Fragum. That's supposed to be Romero. Which, speaking of... Let me go and just, uh... Well... What did it say? Wall banger? Okay. Just so I can show you the actual ending for, uh... You can see the actual ending for, uh, Neutronian Chaos when you end it normally. Yeah, basically just like Rebel Rumble earlier I did. Basically a cast roll. I had to use the volume uh, wheel on the uh, dongle, not the actual headset. That's for the PC. Well, I'm not sure if the Torian case has been updated yet. I have to check. And yeah, that is Netronian Chaos Episode 1. They had a nice little uh, conversion mod here. 
changing out the weapons and monsters and stuff. And definitely check it out. Check out Rebel Rumble as well. It's a pretty fun <laughs> mod if you're into Smash TV. Anyway, I'm Gaming Caleb signing out.